Welcome to the third part in my uh, How to Build a Computer series. Um, in this video, I'll just be simply carrying on with the ALU. So, so far, um, please can you go and watch my other video if you haven't already. It'll show you how to build the two zeroing functions and the two inverting functions. Okay, next we're going to do our anding and our adding and our oring and uh, what else? And uh, our XRing. They're all going to be quite closely like, intertwined. So um, we're going to try and make this quite compact. Um, okay, I'll just take it out one just in case. Start with build a, uh, an XR gate like this. Oops, sorry about the lag. Neck. Fans are endless. Anyway, okay. So on uh, on this the, uh, on this design of the XR gate, um, it's very useful because this at the bottom it where's your is your XR output. This here will be your AND output. So um, we can use this to create a full adder if we link it in with another design of the XR because if you don't know already a full add is made up of two XRs, two ANDs and an R gate um, please go and watch my uh, my full adder tutorial or explanation video that will uh, tell you in detail how this works so then this is going to do another design of an XR gate now um, this uh, like that I think yep that's right touch here touch here touch here and here uh, oh I've got a touch okay so that's your output uh, with this XR design you can also take the XR output and if you place a touch here out here we uh, this will be our AND so if we uh, if we join this up this uh, this here would then lead into the second uh, would then lead into the second bit and um, uh, the second adder and then would lead into um, into this part like so. So this bit here would be this bit. See that's uh, that's how that one works. And now I'll uh, I'm going to show you how to make the the and part of the alien. So since we've got the and coming out of here, um, uh, this will then be taken up here. We'll uh, turn this torch off, which will then uh, turn this turn this glowstone off. Now we need to. This is basically just another way of making this the enabler disabler. So you invert it once, invert it again, and then you add your two enablers here. So if I um. Take this out here. This is now your and. Uh, this is where your and output will be. So if I just show you here by uh, turning them both on, since one and one are on, the output is uh, is on. Now I'm going to mm, I'm going to build my enabler disabler here. And then just take it out here like so. When uh when I finish building it I'll line all these up neatly, but I can't build it doing that right now. Hmm, it's gonna get quite big, it's not very compact. Ah oh, well. Uh okay. So this is our and function. Ooh, and <laughs> and now then. Um, another handy function which you'll need for subtraction 
is to turn the carrying on. Um, I think I've done a video on subtraction. Yeah, far bit add and subtractor, so if you don't know subtraction, go and watch that one. Okay, so this will be labeled, um, I'll just call it C in on. So that turns the carrying on, which will turn the output on. So that's two more functions done, the AND and the scene on. Our next function which I'm going to do is the XR function. So since this is the, the XR from here, from the two, the two inputs here, this is the XR. We can just stick over a piece of here and then take it out like so. And do the double inversion like this. Um, hmm, how am I going to get? How am I going to get to this? Okay, so this will be your XR output here. That's your AND, that's your ADDING, and that's your XR. So if I build that like this. I'm basically just redesigning this from scratch because the way I normally build it is a lot more compact than this. Hmm. This gonna work. Yeah, that'll work. Work quite nicely, fit in there like that. Just take this up a few. There we go. Okay. So now if I turn one of these on, the output will be on because my XR is enabled. Ooh, that doesn't work. What's wrong with that? Oh, that's why. Put that there. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay. So it's off now, so if I turn it on, the XR output will be the XR will be allowed through, and if I turn it off again, it won't be allowed through. Okay, so that's uh, that proves that that one works. You put you have to need a you'll need to add a repeater there. Actually I'll uh, just build it like this to stop the delay. Okay, so that's that function done. I'm now going to build the enable slash disable for the adder. So if we uh, we've inverted it here, take it on here and then inverted it again. So that's the adder. And I can probably just add, yeah, just add it along here. Actually, second, like that. Okay, um, I one add zero at the moment. Oops. Okay, at the moment. That's not outputting anything. If I click the add function, one add zero is one. If it was if it was one add one, uh, the output would be shown here because that leads into the next bit. This should be stackable, uh, believe it or not. And yes, yeah, so I hope to make this into four bit or eight bit. I can't remember what I said to be. Um. Okay. So what was this? This was the XR function. This was the add function. Uh, the last function I'm going to do today is the R function. I'm just going to take out of these two by adding a piece here, a piece here. Yep, it'll add more delay, but I'm not too fussed to be honest. Brilliant.
I think this video is going to be quite long. If it goes more than 15 minutes, I'm going to have to cut it in two. Okay, so take this up here. Put repeaters on it. Sorry about the darkness. Hopefully, you can see it better now. So, uh, yeah, that, uh, this will be our R. So if, uh, if I just turn this on, one R, the other on, this should be on. And that works nicely. Now to invert it. Hmm, is it this way going to get a bit cramped? Oh, this should work. So I add it on there like that. Wire it up here. Add our next uh, enable disabler. Uh, which one I'm going to put here. Okay, that's uh, it's working quite well. As, uh, as I said before, I'm just rebuilding this off the top of my own head because I uh, I don't want to use anything too complicated. I know this is probably quite quick, so I apologise for that. But um, if you don't understand all the logic gates and XRs and ANDs, I advise you to go and uh, learn those before starting anything like a computer. It's vital. Okay, this is a bit annoying because it's got to come out a bit further. Uh, I'll tidy that up off camera probably. Okay, so that's R. I'll just check that this works. Turn that on. Nothing's going through. Click the R button. And it's coming through because one of them's on. Very nice. Okay, so we have now added the AND function, the carry in ON function, the R, the XR, and the ADD. Um, after this, we'll just be joining up these outputs and then adding two more functions, which I'll tell you about next video. So yeah, please like, rate, and subscribe, and watch my next video. Bye.